the weekends in Georgia the way it began, with no sign of any end to the violence. President Zviad Gamsakhordia remains besieged inside his parliament building, with rocket launchers and tanks now pounding it to pieces. The opposition forces trying to unseat President Gamsakhordia are now engaged in the fiercest battle of their three-month campaign. Members of his own National Guard have turned against their president. In the front line, their leader, Tengiz Kitavani, the man employed to train a force to protect the Georgian president, now leading troops that could kill him. At least 40 have died, and President Gamsakhordia says he isn't giving up. As fires burn through the night on the main street in the capital, Tbilisi, former Georgian Prime Minister Tengiz Sigwa says the man in whose government he once served is a dictator who must be overthrown. Полностью монополизированы средства массовой информации. Начиная с сентября оппозиция настойчиво требовала то есть либерализировать средства информации, освободить поле заключенных, но офицер не пошел на диалог. In their most significant gain so far, overnight opposition soldiers stormed the KGB headquarters in Tbilisi and freed several of their colleagues who'd been held there since the summer. Western human rights groups say they were being held as political prisoners by Gamsakhordia. One freed inmate said today they would immediately rejoin the fight for democracy. So far, all efforts to end the conflict in Georgia have failed. One mediation effort by Russian politicians was abandoned, and now leaders of the new Commonwealth of Independent States are busy trying to deal with other problems that have already arisen between them. Foremost among them is how to divide the spoils of the former Soviet Union's armed forces. Defense ministers meeting in Moscow this week were unable to decide who should inherit the Navy's Black Sea Fleet. Ukraine is trying to block Russian attempts to take it over, and now it's reported that the Russians have shifted the most sophisticated aircraft carrier in the fleet out of Ukrainian waters. There'll be further negotiations in Minsk on Monday. Military analyst Alexei Abatov says the Commonwealth leaders don't yet have a forum or a structure for solving their problems. The issue for us is not to expect life when we will have no problems and no conflicts. The real issue is to establish a mechanism of uh, solving them in a routine way uh, without destroying the uh, Commonwealth, without creating great difficulties in order to uh, make it satisfactory to all sides. Also at Monday's meeting, further discussions are expected on nuclear weapons. Ukraine wants the full right of veto on their use. Back in Georgia, there's no veto and no ceasefire. Commonwealth leaders are staying out of what's described as an internal Georgian problem. The opposition in Tbilisi warned tonight that if President Gamsakhordia wins, the consequence will be rivers of blood as he seeks revenge on those who are now trying to topple him. For World Monitor, I'm Simon Marks in Moscow.